Current color is one of those magic properties for CSS. It comes in standard CSS. There's nothing really uh, interesting about it. It's existed for a very long time. And the thing about it is that for a lot of properties, it is the default current color. So here in this example, we have an H1, a div with some text, and an input. It's pretty boring. Down below, the H1 has a color and a text shadow, but you'll notice that there is no color on text shadow. It's just defaulting to whatever the text color is. So if I change the color, the text color to green, then the shadow turns green as well. The, it becomes green as well. And what it's doing is it's setting the color to be current color. That's the default, so that's what it is. Whatever this is, this is too. So we can use this anywhere we want. But when it's the default, we don't have to add it, which is what we're doing here. So if I can change this back to fire brick, it changes for us, okay? Down here, same thing, we have border, we have box shadow and outline, and none of them have a color, which means that if we change this to you know, sky blue, it's gonna change for us. All of those change, I only need to change one property in order, in order to make that happen. Very cool. And of course the input, so we've added an outline to the focus and we've changed the color on that focus. And it will line up, just like that. Now again, the cool thing is, these are all the defaults. So for outline and border and box shadow, the default color when you don't set one is current color. But we can use current color for other things. So here are some buttons, just three of them, and you can see that they flip around really nice, really simple. And the button looks like this. It's just a button with a span inside of it. And I put the span in there so that I can change the text color to white and the SVG, which is in line. Now by doing that, I can actually add markup like this. So the button, we have a color, which is current color. That color is actually be set, being set here. So style color, fire brick, and a little bit lower, sky blue, and deep pink, okay? So by default, it's black, which is why the first button doesn't need that. It just goes black, okay? But we set the fill to current color. Now, for button, button doesn't actually have a fill but fill cascades down to our SVG. So it will be black. We don't need to set that on SVG. We could, but we don't have to. If we wanted to save this SVG for something else, then that saves us some code. On hover, we change the background color to the current color, which is what? Well, in this case, it's black. So the background turns black. And on the span, we make the color white and the fill current color. Because it cascades down, it makes everything flip around, just like this. So very easy to use current color. You can use it anywhere you can specify a color. So backgrounds and fills and, and strokes and all those good things. Really easy to use. And especially for SVG, this becomes one of our secret power tools for making sure that the text and the fill color are always in alignment.